A 10 year old boy presents with an avulsed number eight after a skateboarding accident. Here you will see the application of liquid PRF to the external root structure as well as directly into the socket. PRF will promote the proliferation, migration, and differentiation of stem cells from the apical papilla, as well as increase cell viability of the PDL cells. Yes, yeah, the growth factors, we spin it, and we are going to add it on the tooth without touching too much the root, because we still have some osteoprogenitor cells to work and give me some because I have to add into the tooth. Here you can see Dr. Delia Tuttle gently repositioning the tooth. A flexible splint was placed and the patient was asked to return in two weeks for a recall. The patient returned an endodontic evaluation was performed. The tooth did not respond to cold and was referred to my office for root canal therapy. As you can see, the tooth and splint are in position and the soft tissue still has slight inflammation around the area. The periapical image shows signs of inflammatory root resorption. The patient presented a few weeks later to my clinic for endodontic evaluation and treatment. The soft tissue appeared to be healing within normal limits. Diagnosis was confirmed of a necrotic pulp and asymptomatic apical periodontitis. Root canal therapy was initiated. Necrotic pulp tissue was removed from the canal and laser activated irrigation was used to disinfect the root canal system. Calcium hydroxide powder was placed in the canal followed by a temporary restoration. The occlusion was checked, which is a critical step in trauma cases. You do not want to have any additional forces on this tooth. Try to reduce any occlusal contacts wherever possible. After the treatment, the area was supported with low-level laser treatment or photobiomodulation using the Photona Lightwalker ND YAG laser and Genova handpiece. This stimulates blood flow, lymphatic drainage, and collagen synthesis in the area treated. A few months later, the root canal procedure was completed. And as you can see, the signs of inflammatory resorption have completely stopped. The PDL appears to be healthy. The tooth was stable and asymptomatic. And the soft tissue healing is excellent. Thanks to the timely treatment with Dr. Delia Tuttle and the use of liquid PRF.